What's good everybody, I'm Danny D'Lo and this is Danny D'Lo Biker TV. In this episode, we're going to talk about five things you should not do while riding your motorcycle on the street. Now this is brought to you by two days ago, an incident happened to me. And this guy just, man, he made me so mad, y'all. I swear to God, it was so bad. So this is going to be... Number one thing to not do. Two days ago, I had this punk kid on a little crotch rocket. Now, I'm sitting at a light, waiting for the light to turn green. And in my left mirror, because you know, y'all know me, especially after my accident, I, I stay in the mirrors, tilting my bars this way and that way, watching traffic around me, watching who's in the cars, all that mess. We've already gone through why I do that, right? So I'm sitting at the light, I'm looking in my mirrors, looking ahead, looking around, you know, paying attention to my surroundings as usual. And in the left lane comes a crotch rocket. I figure, okay, he's turning left, whatever. Next thing I know, this dude dips like behind my bike cuts off the car that's behind me mind you i'm still sitting at the red light the light doesn't turn green yet he turns in between us comes up on my right side and just blasts past me like like screw you and i'm like are you effing kidding me dude now i know a lot of guys on crotch rockets especially this punk ass kid he really thought that he had a fast bike and that he could do that to a Harley. Well, he was wrong. <laughs> he was very terribly wrong. Um, those of you that don't know, you know, when you run in the 1% game and the 1% world, you know, most of us that have been around for a little bit, we always got big motors, you know. We got big motors built up because sometimes you just got to pass somebody right now. Sometimes, you know, if you're an SA or or if you're a road captain, you got to block traffic and then go around the whole pack. You know, it, it takes a serious motor and a serious riding competence to uh, do those things. So I have all of those, right? I have a very large motor, a lot of motor work done to my bike. Plus, I have a lot of confidence. So Mr. Crotch Rocket Punk thought that he could just whiz past me like I wasn't shit. And I got to tell you, man, uh, it just, it made me irate. I'm not going to lie to you. It made me so mad that this punk ass kid thought he could just go around me like that. Like I wasn't, like I just wasn't shit. So I blasted after him. And I know he thought that, you know, old guy in a Harley, I ain't worried about him. He ain't going to catch me. Well, he was very, very wrong. I caught up to him right now. Wheel up in the air, gone. <laughs> I catch up to him, I pull up alongside of him, and uh, he was very, very scared all of a sudden. You know, all that all that cool guy confidence he had at that red light, thinking, oh yeah, watch this, man, I'm going to blast right past this guy. Yeah, all that cool guy stuff, it went right out the window when I pulled up next to him, me mugging the hell out of him. And then when I leaned into him, pushing him into the ditch, um, yeah, all that cool guy stuff stopped real quick. So number one, don't do stuff like that. Don't showboat. Don't just go past somebody all ignorant and rude like that. See, it doesn't matter if the dude's a one percenter or MC guy or not. Some of us out here on bikes, bro, you don't know who you messing with. Like I've said in my other video, in one of my past videos, you don't know who you messing with. So don't mess with people because when you find out that you shouldn't have messed up with that person. Well, it's normally too late. So this punk kid got very, very scared. And what I mean that I pushed him in a ditch, I didn't like make him crash or something. I just pushed him off the road just to let him know that this is my road. You're not just gonna go past me like that. Like that was a punk move. I know, I know all you tough guys on the internet, all you TikTok percenters and YouTube percenters, I know you guys carry guns and I wish you would have done that to me and blah, blah, blah. sure I'm very impressed I'm very intimidated I don't want no smoke Pfft, shut up so let's get to number two 
Number two thing not to do. When you see a guy on a motorcycle, whether he's at a red light or maybe he's riding, if you don't know that man or woman, don't just pull up next to him thinking that, you know, we're biker and we're brothers. Don't, don't, don't just go assuming that you can go ahead and do that. Case in point, I had this a few years ago, many years ago, actually, about five, six years ago. Me and my ex, old lady, we're on my bagger. We're chilling downtown somewhere. We pull up to a red light. Same scenario. I'm at a red light. I'm chilling. A guy on a street glide. He's got his girl. He pulls up on me and he pulls up right next to me. And I look at him and I'm like, really, dude? And he looks over and he's like, hey, bro. And I'm like, <laughs> I really wanted to kick him off his bike right there. But I pulled ahead a little bit. I got off my bike and he started to pull up next to me again. I walked over to his bike and I put my hand on his fairing and I pushed him about six foot back. And I said, don't leave this spot. And if you pull up next to me again, you're going to regret everything you thought about. Don't do it. Like, what the hell is the matter with you people that think that's okay? If you don't know the fellow rider or the guy that's in front of you, a girl that's in front of you, why would you pull up next to him? Give the biker in front of you, male or female, patch or no patch, it does not matter. Give that person the common respect and give them their space. You don't get in somebody's bubble like that. It's just like when we standing in line, chilling at a gas station. Bro, I was practicing six feet way before all this pandemic stuff started. Like way before, way before. Don't get in my bubble. That's a big thing in the biker culture. We don't like people all up on top of us. We like freedom. We like space. We like air. Get out of our bubble. So that's number two. Don't pull up next to somebody if you don't know them. Give them space. When you pull up behind them, don't get right on their ass. Don't pull up damn near next to them. Stay back at least, you know, a bike, two, two or three bike lengths at least. You know, you're not with those people. You don't know them. Brotherhood, don't come with your Harley Davidson. You yuppie assholes need to fucking figure that out. Stop doing that. Yes, I'm swearing in this video because I don't even care about monetization. We need to get the points across. So that's number two. Number three. If you're going to pass somebody... It doesn't matter if they're a one percenter or not. If you're going to pass somebody, don't just blast past them like a jerk. Don't do that. Please don't do that. It's ignorant. You know, if you get close enough to the guy, letting him know like, hey, man, you're going a little slow. You know what I mean? He might even pull over to the right lane to let you go on by. He might wave you by. Give, give the guy a chance. Give the girl a chance to wave you past out of respect, you know, instead of just blasting past somebody all rude. That goes for you club guys too, man. Quit thinking you on the road. Quit thinking that you can just blast past people like they ain't shit. Because I promise you, I know way more guys with no patches on their back that will give you the smoke if you want it. So that goes for everybody, everybody on a motorcycle, man. Be a little more respectful, a little more courteous to each other, man. Stop being hot shots. You know, blasting past somebody right next to them. Come on, man. Stop doing that kind of stuff, man. It's rude, man. It really is. Have a little common courtesy out there. All right? For real. Number All right. <clears throat> this one's going to hit some of your nerves. Know the difference between a biker, a biker enthusiast, enthusiast, and a rider. Learn the difference. Maybe, perhaps, that'll be my next episode, actually. The differences between a rider, a biker, a biker enthusiast, and so on and so on. Know the difference. Those of us that are bikers, whether we're clubbers or not, those of us that are through and through bikers, we live for this shit. This is what we do. This is who we are. We ride our motorcycles. 
we do biker shit we talk about biker shit we live the biker lifestyle it's what we do it's who we are we are bikers if you don't know me don't bro me stop it you assholes out here think that well you know we both ride harley davidson so obviously we're brothers no we are definitely not brotherhood is earned it does not come with your freaking streak glide or your road glide or your dyna soft towel uh, whatever you ride it no stop it stop it cut it out already stop thinking we're brothers we're not ain't they nothing more piss me off than i'm sitting at a harley dealership because you know I, i'll stop at them every now and then. usually if i'm at a harley dealership i'm either out of town so i just stop there to use the bathroom maybe grab a quick t-shirt um something to drink and have a couple of squares before i hit the highway again but if i'm at a dealership whether i'm waiting for parts maybe i'm waiting for somebody whatever the reason may be i'm sitting at a dealer's dealership i've had this happen a thousand and one times at least i'm sitting at a dealership and some guy walk up you know pull up on his on his you know street glide or his road glide or his cbo and you know he'll pull up on that he's got all harley gear dripping all over him harley sunglasses necklace earrings hat shirt underwear socks shoes boots jeans like he's he's a walking freaking catalog of course we can't forget his cute little harley vest because he's a biker <laughs> he's got 13 miles on today and he pulls up to the dealership because that's what he does every sunday or saturday he pulls up and hangs out and calls everybody brother and he'll walk up to a motherfucker like me looking the way i look and it, it, people all of you guys that have seen me in person have met me out and about you guys can comment below and say i am not the most approachable guy i really ain't like i have just a facial expression all the time it's i call it the fu face like my facial expression always tells people just leave me alone man don't come up to me and i really am a nice person obviously but you know if you don't know me and you see me most people know to just keep walking i don't want to talk to you i don't want to be cool with you you know like everything about me does not give off that vibe right and I'm not saying that's how I am, obviously because of these videos. I see a lot of you guys out in public sometime. I run into you guys. You guys come up. Hey, dude, you're D-Lo. What's up, man? Hey, I'm cool with it, man. I'm all good with it. I'm more than happy to talk with y'all, say what's up, and show you the same respect y'all give me on my shows. So, And I appreciate you guys. You already know. But nothing pissed me off more than a guy that I've never met before ever in my life walking up to me and saying, Hey, what's up, brother? How you doing today, man? beautiful day for a ride huh brother dude i just want to knock every tooth up out your head when you come up to me and approach me that way i'm not sure the first thing i say is dog i ain't your brother man go over there with that bullshit like i'm i'm rude as hell to them kind of people man because I, I can't stand them i hate them if you're one of them people i don't even care if you subscribe unsubscribe then bounce bro like you're so fake you're a wannabe you're, you're, you're trying to be something you're not. You watch Sons of Anarchy, whatever the case may be. I don't like you. You're not my brother. I don't know you. Go over there. Like, I hate that, man. So y'all need to stop doing that. Number five. All right, number five. What would number five be? Well, since I'm in the mood to really piss some of you off and start some bullshit. <laughs> Number five is going to be quit waving and quit getting mad if nobody waves back at you. If you want to wave at people, do your little, yeah, what's up, brother? Two wheels down, brother. If you want to do that bullshit, go right ahead. But don't expect me to give it in return. I don't know you. I don't give a damn about you. We are not bros of the same code. We're not. <laughs> we're not biker brothers you know we're not the same people that then dude stop that bullshit man that fake ass shit let me tell you how the two finger wave started it started 
when Mr. Harley Davidson and his brother would be test driving the bikes that they built at the factory, when they would ride past each other, they'd wave at each other like, hey, what's up, bro? Hey, bro. And the next thing you know, you get the yuppies that get involved back in, I don't know, what was it, like 1950s or 60s or something like that? Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I could definitely be wrong on that. I didn't do any research, but I forget. But back in the day, when the yuppies got involved, uh, when they completely ruined the culture that most of us love so much, <laughs> when they came about, all of a sudden they said, yeah, man, you know, Harley, they, uh, but, you know, little by little people would catch on to that and they thought it was a Harley thing. And now the yuppies got involved and now it's, yeah, well, you know, got to respect fellow brothers, fellow riders. I don't know. I don't know you. So why would I respect you? If you're coming towards me for all I know, the next town over in front of me, you might have raped 13 women and killed 15 of them you know like you could have did some heinous shit in your past that i don't condone or agree with at all but i'm supposed to give you common respect just because you ride a motorcycle just because you got your m license just like i did because you had enough money to go buy a harley or a yamaha or whatever the bike may be i'm supposed to give you the the two-wheel respect brother no no i'm not waving at you silly ass i'm not i think you're stupid as hell for that i really do you guys that do that shit i think is just so dumb so dumb so for you crotch rocket brothers out there that watch me y'all already know i got nothing but love and respect for y'all don't think that because you give the two fingers down at a harley rider that he's not giving it back to you because you're on a rice rocket or a crotch rocket or a sport bike whatever whatever you want to be called don't think that some of us just think it's stupid as hell to wave at people that i don't know i'm not in a parade what the fuck why why am i waving no <laughs> why am i waving at you man i don't give a damn about you you know most of the time i'm looking straight ahead i'm in my own world doing my thing enjoying my life i don't give a damn who you are, what you're riding, or whatever. So just stop the wave altogether, man. Quit faking the funk already, man. It's driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy, y'all. You're driving me crazy. So that, my friends, my brothers and sisters, <laughs> get the hell out of here. So that, my friends, is five things don't do while riding a motorcycle. Pay attention to the next episode, which I think I'm going to break down the differences between a biker, a rider, and a biker enthusiast. I think that should be done. I do. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. So I might be coming out with that one next. But for right now, as always, thank you for watching. To all my new subscribers, man, much love and respect, y'all. I hit 6,000 subscribers. Six. 6,000 subscribers I got. This is crazy, y'all, man. Y'all building me up, man. I love it, man. I really do. Thank you for rocking with me. I hope you guys are enjoying my content so far. Um, I might be doing a couple more tech talks, but the next tech talk I do might be a pretty long, lengthy one because I'm actually going to be building a bike. I wouldn't say building, but I'm going to be doing a lot. Uh, handlebars, sound system um air ride stretched rear end um you guys will see man it's, it's gonna be a pretty cool thing i got a lot of work to do on a bike and uh it's gonna be real cool and uh, i look forward to, to videoing it all and uh showing you guys the progress and showing you guys how i get down so thank you for watching everybody nothing but love and respect to each and every one of you and uh as always we gonna keep it real and we're going to keep it 100. I'll let y'all, man. Peace.